Hey guys, so today I want to do quickly a video on the new iOS 7.1 Beta 4 here on the iPhone 4, uh, which is the oldest iPhone at the moment, which can run uh, the latest in iOS 7 version, which this is for developers. If you want to see how you can install for yourself, like the latest version of iOS, then you have to insert a little fee uh, money there, uh, a few bucks, but uh, it could be worth it if you want to see what Apple's going to do with iOS 7.1. Uh, so, uh, first of all, uh, you do kind of like get the same things here probably that you do get, or a little bit different uh, setup here, and different background, and also different background here down at the bottom than what we would get uh, on newer iPhones. Uh, so, if you start up here to see if we do have the same kind of power down kind of cool menu. Hmm. Okay, this is interesting. You don't get that kind of cool menu uh, or that, that kind of cool slide effect that you do get on the 4S, the iPhone 5, uh, the iPhone 5S. You don't get that cool thing. This still is the classical one. You can still see the background. It's not blurred out here on the iPhone 4, uh, which is definitely pretty interesting. Lags a little bit here uh, when we're trying that. Let's see if that is available uh, on the lock screen. Okay, so still the same old here also on the lock screen, kind of effect. You can check out my other reviews on newer iPhones to see how, how it kind of looks. Uh, it looks pretty awesome on them actually. You can still see we have that lag, but we have a full black keyboard and uh, also a little bit thicker and bolder text here in iOS 7.1. Uh, compared to iOS 7.0.4 at the moment, I'm pretty sure. Uh, there's a new voice gender for Siri in the UK on the iPad. Uh, speed improvements, which I'm probably going to try out. Probably not going to see a major, major difference. I mean, iOS 7.1 was a big update in terms of speed and stuff. Uh, a lot of bug fixes in the background. I've also heard that some people have had this uh, photos icon kind of like changed. Um, to, to a different one, but I haven't seen that happening uh, with my little iPhone here, which has some lag in this button. And that has nothing to do probably with the latest version of iOS. It's just that it's an old iPhone. I would love to see in like iOS 7.2, a quick way to close all the apps, because it's a little bit annoying here to do it yourself. I mean, they, sh they should definitely try to do something about that, I think. So, what do you think about this update? Do you want to see anything specific? Do you want to see me uh, try out something special? Uh, definitely be sure to let me know about that, and I'll definitely see what I can do. Uh, you see, when we go to Warp Appearance Brightness, still, you know, of course, don't get any um, cool things in here, like uh, turn on those motion effects, turn off. Uh, but you do see the text wallpaper preview and uh, you don't have those dynamic wallpapers still uh, so you have to tap also up there uh, to um, to come here to the wallpaper section uh, which doesn't really seem to have been updated as far as i can see so just a quick little video checking it out a little bit uh, hopefully you enjoy if you want to see anything specific definitely be sure to let me know and hopefully i'll see you all in the next video peace out